Welcome to Engineering Studio with Dr. Muhammad Tahir. In this video, we are going to discuss about the design base shear, its vertical distribution to calculate the inertial forces, and then the analysis of the building based on the inertial forces to calculate overturning moment, story shear, and drift of the building. So first of all, design base shear. The design base shear is given as the seismic response coefficient times the effective seismic weight of the structure. So C V, sorry V, the seismic base shear is equal to C S time W. And regarding C S and W, you can refer to the previous videos. C S is the seismic response coefficient as described in the previous video, and W is the effective seismic weight. So the base shear is equal to the sum of seismic induced lateral forces due to distortion of the building. As we have discussed in the first video related to the topic of earthquake analysis, that when the base of the structure is displaced, so as a result the building will distort. And because of the distortion of the building, the lateral forces will, or the inertial forces will generate in the building. And this base shear is actually the sum of all these lateral forces. So we can say that this base shear is equal to Cs times W and it is equal to the sum of inertial forces. Okay, after calculating the base shear, then we need to distribute this base shear in the vertical direction to calculate the seismic forces, the lateral seismic forces Fx. So these lateral forces induced at any level shall be determined from the following equation fx is equal to cv time base shear and here cvx is a factor which is equal to wx hx raised to power k divided by sum of wi hi raised to power k. k is the exponent related to the structural period. So for the structures having a period of 0 0.5 second k will be equal to 1 for structure having period 2.5 second the period will be 2. And for in between values between 0 0.5 and 2.5, we can interpret the value of k. So the lateral force fx at any level is a function of the height from the ground and the weight of the building at that level. Okay, next is the horizontal shear distribution or the seismic design story shear. So seismic design story shear at any level can be calculated by using this expression vx is equal to i is equal to x to n sum of fi mean it is the sum of inertial forces up to that level for example if we want to calculate the shear force at this level so it will be equal to if this is f3 f2 and f1 so at level 1 f will be equal to f1 plus f2 plus f3 and at this level it will be equal to only f3 at this level it will be equal to f3 plus f2 and at this level it will be equal to f1 f2 and f3 okay next is direct shear or the shear distribution in the horizontal direction so based on the lateral force resisting system we need to distribute the story shear in all the vertical elements which are resisting the seismic forces in accordance with their stiffness so the seismic design story shear vx shall be distributed to the various vertical elements of the seismic force resisting structure in the story under consideration based on lateral stiffness of the vertical resisting elements and the diaphragm. So here we need to understand what is the diaphragm. So diaphragm is this slab plus beams. So the combination of slab and beam so it makes the diaphragm. So it is assumed that the lateral force is acting at this diaphragm and then this diaphragm with the help of the collector it distributes the forces or the seismic forces to the vertical elements which are resisting the seismic forces. So in the seismic forcing resisting system it includes the vertical columns and shear walls. So these shear walls and vertical columns or frames are actually moment resisting frame and they resist the seismic forces. So the shear calculated at any level is actually distributed to these vertical elements based on their stiffness. An uh, element which has higher stiffness will take the more part out of the story share and the elements which have lesser stiffness will take the less share out of the 
total story share. Okay, next is overturning moment. So overturning moment at any level can be calculated by using this expression. So it is again, if we have this structure and the forces are acting like this, so F1, F2, sorry, F1, F2, F3 and F4. For example, if we want to calculate the moment at this level, so the moment at this level will be equal to F4 times this much distance, which is actually HN minus hx mean if the height up to this f2 or we can say f2 mean h4 minus h2 plus f3 times h3 minus h2 so after calculating the bending moment at each story level we can calculate the story drift and story drift is actually the difference between the deflection at the top of the story and at the bottom of the story for example this is delta 2 and this is delta 1 so story drift will be equal to delta 2 minus delta 1 so the design story drift shall be computed as a stiffness as a difference of deflection at the top and bottom of the story under consideration the summary of equivalent lateral force procedure for the seismic analysis of the structures so the first step is calculate time period using suitable equation out of the following so we can estimate the time period by using three equations and then we need to check its upper limit and related and the detail of this equation is already explained in the previous video so after that the next step is to calculate the effective seismic weight. Okay, the next step is to calculate the seismic base shear coefficient CS. And the CS calculated by using this expression it should be more than the CS calculated by these expressions. So this is for the seismic design category E and F and this is for seismic design category A, B, C and D. So C as calculated by using this expression should be more than these values and it should be less than the C S value obtained from this equation. So to calculate this C S we need the S D S and S D 1. So S D S and S D 1 can be calculated by using these two expressions and here S M S and S M 1 can be calculated by using this expression F A time S S and S 1. This SS and S1 will be known to us based on the location of the building and this FA, FV, R and I mean the site coefficients, response modification factor and the importance factor can be selected from the respective tables and after that we can calculate the base shear. So base shear will be equal to CS time effective weight of the structure. After calculating the base shear, we can calculate the lateral force at each story level by using this expression fx is equal to cvx time v. And here cvx can be calculated by using this expression. So once we have calculated the lateral force at different levels, so we can calculate the story shear. And story shear will be equal to sum of forces up to the level at which we, we, are, we want to calculate the story share. For example, if we want to calculate the story share at this level, so it will be equal to the sum of force this one and sum of force this one. Mean F3, F2 and F1. So it will be equal to F3 plus F2. And similarly, we can calculate the overturning moment at each story level by using this expression. So again if we want to calculate the moment at any level so we can for example if we have this case and we want to calculate the moment at this level so it will be equal to f3 time this much height and f2 time this much height so f3 into h3 minus h1 and f2 time h2 minus h1 so it will be equal to overturning moment 
So after calculating the overturning moment, we can calculate the story drift. So in this way, we can analyze our structure by using the equivalent lateral force procedure. We also need to distribute the story share and bending moment or overturning moment to the vertical elements which are resisting the lateral forces based on their stiffness.